This is how to outsmart narcissists and make their life a living hell. Are you tired of feeling trapped in the web of a narcissist's manipulative spell? Yearning for freedom, but uncertain of how to cut yourself loose? Well, today's topic is just what you need. We're going to delve into the depths of outsmarting narcissists and making their life a living hell. So, let's get ready for a wild ride that's sure to flex your mental muscles. And hey, if you like what you hear, don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss out on our latest content. The harsh reality is that narcissists are really good at the game of manipulation. They want to control you, and they're not afraid to go to great lengths to make it happen. But here's the good news. You can turn the tables on them. You can outsmart them in their own game and make their life a living hell. It all starts with taking their power away. So, let's begin. Number 1. Simply disengage, be disinterested, and don't bite. Some people call it gray rocking. Don't let your emotions get the best of you, and don't feel the need to explain yourself. The point is to take away their power and allow them to face the consequences of their own behavior. They're always trying to get that emotional supply from you, and the best way to starve them of it is by using what's called a wall of pleasantness. Imagine your narcissistic partner comes in, guns blazing with accusations and insults. Instead of letting them rile you up or caving into their demands, reply with, Hmm, sounds like you have big feelings about that. I'm sure you'll work it out. It's a mature, moderate response that places the responsibility back on them to solve their own problems. You don't have to be the solution to all their issues. Now, if you're struggling with codependency, and let's face it, many of us are when dealing with a narcissist, I highly recommend checking out the description link to grab my free course. Number two, don't defend, don't explain, don't engage, and don't correct them. It's a one-way ticket to their misery. Listen up, guys. You can hold a piece of tape up in front of a narcissist, and if they want to see an elephant, they'll swear up and down that it's an elephant. It's frustrating as hell, and it's one of the biggest traps we fall into, thinking that if we just educate them or show them the truth, they'll eventually get it. But that's what they want us to do. They want us to try and defend ourselves, to explain, and to engage with them. They crave that attention and will do anything to get it. The truth is, you can't call them out or shrink them. That's exactly what they want because it feeds their bottomless pit of attention-seeking behavior. So don't fall into that trap, friend. It's time to take back our power and refuse to engage with their manipulation and lies. Trust me, it's the only way to survive. Number three is crucial. We need support, and we need it immediately. The way these dynamics work is just diabolical. There's a complex psychology at work here that's nearly impossible to navigate on our own. To truly outsmart and disarm these people, we need help, professional help. A coach, a therapist, anyone who's trained to guide us through this mess. We keep going back to that source, the narcissist, and it's just not cutting it. Every time we feel like engaging in that toxic dance, we need something else to grab onto. We need an outside source, a support that will hold us accountable, that will keep us grounded and sane. Someone we can confide in, someone who understands our pain and can help us through the rough patches, and when we're feeling weak, someone who can remind us of the pain we've already been through, and the pain will continue to suffer if we keep going back. We need to take tangible steps to get a support group around us, because let's face it, the narcissist is probably not going to be much of a support system. In fact, they've probably isolated themselves. So it's up to us to take action and build the support system we need. It's a non-negotiable if we're going to survive this emotionally and come out the other side better and stronger. Okay, now let's talk about number four. Trust me, this one is a doozy, but it's so worth it. Just agree with them, even if what they say is a lie. Here's the deal. Agreeing with the narcissist, even when they're straight up lying. Yeah, it's actually a genius move. Think about it. They say something totally absurd like, Hey, you're an elephant? And you just go, Yep, that's me, I'm an elephant. And then what? They're left with nothing to argue about. No power over you. Zip. Zero. Silch. And here's the real kicker. When they say those hurtful things, we may want to get defensive and fight back. But ask yourself, has that ever worked? Have you ever been able to convince them of the truth? 
Let me tell you from my own experience, it never happens. So instead, we gotta get crafty. We gotta learn this skill of self-deception and denial. Sound bad? Hear me out. When someone judges us, blames us, criticizes us, and hates us, they're actually also talking about themselves. Every time they point a finger, they've got three more pointing back at them. So yeah, it can be incredibly painful to hear those words, but it's actually a window into their own pain and dysfunction. And that's when we say, no thanks. We don't buy into that horse manure. We stand our ground and protect our internal boundaries. We can't get caught up in their lies and deceit. That's how they keep control over us. Instead, we've got to be responsible for ourselves, our own values, our own worth. That way, even if they're slinging around slanderous comments, we know our own truth, and we don't give them the power to affect us. Number five, get into your own life and prove that narcissist wrong by not proving anything. Let's be real. We spend way too much time trying to figure out these narcissists, sacrificing our friends and family along the way. It's not their fault. We know at every step of the drama that we gave in that we bought into their manipulation. It's not because we're better or more empathic than others. It's because we carry our own pain and trauma that makes us easy prey. And once they start playing their tricks, it's too late. We slowly give away our power and our lives. But here's the thing. We can take that power back. By getting into our own lives and showing them through our actions that we don't need them, we disarm them of their power and control. It's about codependency recovery. Learning how to identify and pursue our own needs and wants, and figuring out what brings us true joy, not just what the narcissist wants. Trust me, I've been there. It's a process, but it's worth it. Number six, don't stoop to their level. It's not worth the self-hatred. Okay, okay. I know it can be tempting to play mind games with those narcissists and get a taste of their own medicine. Trust me, I've been there. It can be kind of fun at first. But let me warn you, friend, it's a slippery slope. The longer I played their game, the more I started to feel like them, consumed with self-loathing, guilt, and shame. It's not who I'm, and I don't want to live that way. Sure, you might gain some temporary power over them, but what cost? It's manipulative, and it just perpetuates the dual narcissistic relationship. And let's be real, you're better than that. So if you do decide to go down that road, be very careful. Pay attention to how it's affecting you. Is it making you feel good or bad about yourself? Is it permeating into other areas of your life? For me, it wasn't worth it. Look, I know it's tough to break this cycle of attracting narcissists, but the first step is recognizing our own part in the dynamic and taking responsibility for it. It's not just about being the angelic empath. We all have a role to play. Number seven is a total game changer. The best way to disarm and outsmart a narcissist is by healing yourself. Think about it. We keep going back to them, even when we know it's toxic. Why is that? Well, it's because deep down, we're choosing the narcissist. We're reliving our unhealed trauma from childhood because that's what's creating the attraction to these toxic people. And let me tell you that attraction is no joke. The dysfunction, the chaos, the uncertainty. All of that feels so familiar because it's what we experienced in our childhood. And unless we make healing our top priority, we'll never be truly free from the narcissist's grasp. But here's where the power lies. When we heal ourselves, we take back our power. We break free from that attraction and we recognize the part we played in creating the relationship. It can be tough to admit, but we have to take massive responsibility for our actions. The good news? Once we do that, we can forgive ourselves. That self-forgiveness is what allows us to break free from the narcissist's grip and stop going back to them. It's all about healing the pain from our past and breaking that worst day cycle. And let me tell you, there's no shame in asking for help. You're not to blame for what happened to you in the past, but you are responsible for your healing. So let's take ownership of our lives and break free from the cycle of dysfunction. Number eight, don't become the monster you're trying to escape. Okay, I get it. The thought of turning the tables on a narcissist can be enticing. But let me ask you this. If you're watching this video because you've been through hell and back with a narcissist, why would you want to become like them? Do you really want to live a life of manipulation, control, and self-loathing? Trust me, 
it's not worth it. Instead, I encourage you to take a different approach. Take back your power, heal from the pain of the past, and disarm the narcissist through recovery. It's not an easy journey, but it's the only way to truly overcome the cycle of attracting these toxic people into your life. Start with small steps, try my free course, join supportive communities, and get in touch with people who genuinely care about you. Educate yourself about narcissistic behavior and how to protect your boundaries and learn how to recognize your own part in the dynamic. In short, focus on making recovery the single most important thing in your life. Disengage, disarm, and outsmart the narcissist by becoming the best version of yourself. It won't always be easy, but trust me, it's worth it. So let's take on this journey together with your head held high and make recovery the priority. I hope you find this video informative, and until next time, let the healing begin. So, do you feel trapped in the manipulative web of a narcissist? Do you yearn for freedom but feel powerless to escape their grasp? If so, you are not alone. Narcissists are skilled manipulators who want nothing more than to control those around them. But there is hope. You can outsmart them, take back your power, and make their life a living hell. And today we just explored the tips of how to do just that. To start, it is essential to understand that narcissists are masters of manipulation. They will do whatever it takes to maintain their power, including using emotional manipulation. To combat this, disengagement is key. The technique, also known as grey rocking, involves maintaining a wall of pleasantness between you and the narcissist. In this way, you starve them of the emotional supply they are seeking. If you struggle with codependency, don't worry, you are not alone. It is a common problem when dealing with a narcissist. Seeking professional help such as a coach or therapist is crucial. These dynamics are complex and guidance is essential to disarm these people. You may check my recommendation in the description box below if you are interested to know more about this. Another crucial tactic is not giving in to their lies and manipulation. Try not to defend yourself, engage or correct them. They crave attention and any engagement fits the beast. Don't fall into the trap. You can't call them out or shrink them as that is precisely what they want. They want any reaction from you. So rather than feed into their games, focus on building a support system around you. It is a vital step in recovering from the pain and dysfunction caused by these relationships. Okay, now one of the most unusual tactics is agreeing with them even when they are spreading lies. They will say something absurd like, you are an elephant, and by agreeing wholeheartedly, you will take away their power and control. This stops the cycle of their lies and deceit and enables you to set internal boundaries and define your own worth. It is well known how consuming it can be to try to understand narcissists and figure out how to outsmart them. We can become so focused on the toxic relationship that we neglect ourselves and our need. The key is to focus on our own lives, not theirs, and figure out what brings us joy and fulfillment. Learning how to identify and pursue our own needs is imperative to disarm them of their power and control over us. It can be tempting to stoop to their level and fight back, however, going down that road can be a slippery slope, leading to feeling of self-loathing and guilt. It is not worth the long-term effects. It is better to focus on self-healing and forgiveness to break free from their grasp fully. And the most crucial step involved in dealing with the narcissist is to focus on yourself and your recovery. When you heal yourself, you take back your power and break free from the narcissist's control. Recognizing your own part in the dynamic and seeking professional help is the best way forward. So breaking the cycle of attracting these toxic personalities into our lives is worth the effort. We can disarm them, outsmart them, and take back our control and it is all about healing the pain of the past and becoming the best version of ourselves. So it is not about the narcissist, it is about you. However, don't stoop to their level and become what you are trying to escape from. 
Remember to remain focused on recovery and your journey towards being the best version of yourself. This is the best revenge you can do to the narcissist. I think that's all for today's video guys. I hope you find this video informative and if you have anything to say, please don't hesitate to write them down in the comment section below. And if you are new here, please subscribe to our channel, activate the bell icon, and until next time, have a nice day everyone.